What's up, guys, and welcome to my review for Late Night with the Devil. This stars David Dismalchin as a struggling TV talk show host who puts everything on the line with a Halloween night show special where he hopes go a little crazy to get his ratings up. Now, this movie has been praised by a lot of people on Twitter, X, seen reviews for it, interviews with David Dismalchin. You know, so I was like, wow, I'm really looking forward to seeing this. And it hit streaming uh, yesterday, whenever you're watching this video, the Friday the 19th, I believe, of April. It hit streaming. So, yeah, it's on VOD. You could rent it and or buy it, which we did digitally, and checked it out. Now, this is a film that I think is going to leave you bewildered in a way. You watch this movie and it ends without any spoilers. I won't spoil anything in the film, but it ends and you just, you're just you just kind of scratching your head to where I came to record this video and I'm still kind of scratching my head. Uh, this just feels like so bizarre. <laughs> this is one of the weirdest movies I have ever seen. I mean, it just felt like an acid trip and not necessarily in a bad way, but it was just so bizarre. This movie is just so odd. Um, you know, it's, it's a Halloween special. So he brings on a person who doesn't believe in possession. And then he brings in a woman who's taken this younger girl under her wing who's got some sort of demon in her and she's had a mysterious past so she comes onto the program and now we have to have a segment to where you know she wants to expose the demon and bring it to light for a little bit and showcase it but this is just such a weird damn movie this is such a weird damn movie. The last 10 minutes of this movie, I don't want to say derailed itself, but the like this movie takes a turn to, I mean, it goes from weird to just insanity. The last 10 minutes of this movie is just insane. It's really insane. And I don't know how I feel about it. Um, I liked the film. Look at I liked this movie. I think David Desmalchin was great. I think the supporting cast was, was fine. I liked the setting, the feel of the show that he's hosting, the late owls, the night owls, whatever it is. I was into it. Um, but it was just the the plot of this guy who's, you know, he's a single man because his wife died recently. So now he's, he's trying to, his, his ratings have just gone down. So it's this guy that wants to try anything to get his ratings back up. So, I mean, you can't really tell if he really believes in this stuff or he doesn't believe in this stuff. He's very neutral to the whole thing. He's just kind of the moderator throughout which i guess is the, the role of a host you know that's what he would be but towards the latter half of the film things start to come to fruition of what's he's seeing who's communicating what's going on and i i don't know i can't solve it I sat there in silence for about five minutes after it ended. I was just kind of trying to decipher it and just what the last 10 minutes of this movie actually means. And I really can't put my finger on it. There's certain things I'm like, okay, I think that happened, but I can't explain it completely. And I don't know if the filmmakers can either. I just think maybe they felt that they were just going to get completely artsy with it. I don't know what was going on there but i would be interested to hear theories of what people thought the end of this movie really meant 
did it have to do with the young girl's past? You know, she was saved from a, a cult of witchcraft people. I don't even know what they were. It was really weird. So, I don't know. This is just a weird damn movie. I liked it, but I didn't love it because I just don't I just don't know. Um, but I liked it. I did like it. I'm going to give it three and a half out of five stars. No, I didn't love it. I can't be like, well, that was a, that was a great horror suspense thriller. Look, I, we just watched Immaculate recently. And, um, I think that was a great movie. Much more straightforward. This, not as straightforward. A lot of mystery within this movie. So I did like it three and a half out of five. and. Yeah, that's really all I have to say about it. Uh, it's just just wacky. Just a wacky film. Just really out there. But that's where I'm at with that. So, guys, comment down below. Did you see Late Night with the Devil? What are your thoughts? Leave that down below. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. You can check out my review for Immaculate, which is up on the channel now. We got reviews for Challengers. Arthur the King, Love Lies Bleeding, Monkey Man, lots of exciting stuff. You can follow me on Twitter and or X at RyanKing72 and Instagram and TikTok at KingArises131. And that's about it for me. Thank you so much for watching my review for Late Night with the Devil. And until next time, over and out.